The Aero A.34 at the 1929 event with other competitors in the background The Challenge 1929 was the first FI International Tourist Plane Contest. That took place between August 4 and August 16, 1929 in Paris, France. Four challenges, from 1929 to 1934, were major aviation events in pre-war Europe. The Aero A.34 taking off at the 1929 event The contest was conceived by the Aero Club de France, inspired by the International Light Aircraft Contest, in France in 1928. The idea of a tourist plane contest was approved by the FI, and the first challenge was to be organized by the French. The Albatross L82 at Orly Airport The contest was opened on August 4, 1929 in Paris. It consisted of two parts, technical trials of aircraft and a rally over Europe. Since one of the aims of the challenge was to generate a progress in aircraft building, it was not only pilots' competition, but technical trials also included a construction evaluation, to build more advanced tourist planes. The Avia BH-11 folded for the garaging Test 55 aircraft entered the challenge in 1929, from six countries, Germany, Italy, France, United Kingdom, Czechoslovakia, and Switzerland. In some teams there were also foreign aviators, e.g. In the German team there was the Canadian John Carberry, flying a German RK-25 aircraft, in the French team there were two Belgians. Among the British team, there was one woman Winifred Spooner. All planes flew with two men crews, pilot and passenger or mechanic. Kleps, the BH-11 pilot, Pictured with his mechanic in front of the aircraft The aircraft in the contest were popular sport planes of the late 20s years, like de Havilland Gypsy Moth, which was the main aircraft of the British team. These aircraft had mostly open cabs, built in low wing, high wing or biplane layout. Unlike in the following years, there were no aircraft built specially for a challenge contest, only the Czech Avia BH-11B's Antilapa were improved by adding folding wings. All aircraft in the contest had fixed landing gear and had no wing mechanization. The most numerous were German BFW M.23B and Clem. BFWs and Clems were wooden low-wing planes with open two-seater tandem cabins. The two Fiat as one competitors the de Havilland DH.60 Moth, with gypsy engine, piloted by Miss Winifred Spooner in the Challenge International de Tourism, 1929. The first part of the contest were technical trials, starting on August 4th. Unlike the following challenges, it was not too complicated and consisted of a technical evaluation, quick engine start test, quick wing folding test and fuel consumption trial only. The two Avia BH-11 aircraft, with Walter Vega engines, taking part in the Challenge International de Tourism, 1929. The first was a technical evaluation of competing planes construction. Such features, like twin controls, rich set of controls, wheel brakes, fire safety devices and a room for parachutes, could bring up to 18 points. Most points was given to the Italian Bredaba 15s and German all-metal Junkers A50S. Very good result of 11. 25 points was obtained also by the Italian Fiat as .1S and Romeo Row 5s. The German BFW M.23B were given only 9. 5 points, DH60s, from 9. 5 to 10. 5 points, and the lowest result was 8 points. The Bredaba. 15 taking part in the Challenge International de Tourism, 1929. After quick wings folding and quick engine starting tests, the classification leader was the Czech Joseph Novak flying an Aero A.34 biplane, with 17. 5 pints. Behind him, there were three Italians flying Romeo Ro 5 biplanes, then the rest. The best German pilot, Wolf Hirth, had 16. 25 pints, but most Germans had a few points less. Some planes were handicapped, not having folding wings. Some crews completed wings folding trial on 6th of August. The Potes 36 aircraft taking part in the Challenge International de Tourism, 1929. The last was a fuel consumption test, on 6 by 50 kilometers closed circuit, on 5th of August. It could bring up to 20 points. The best result was obtained by the German Johannes Nehring flying a Darmstadt D-18 biplane, then the Swiss Hans Wirth, three German Junkers A-50 and two Czech Avia BH-11s, with 15 to 17 pints. The German Clems also were good at this trial, with 12 to 14. 5 pints. The fuel consumption trial changed the general classification order. The three leaders, with 32 pints each, became Johannes Nehring, the Swiss Hans Wirth and the Czech Frontischek Klebs. Further places, from the 4th to the 10th, 
were occupied by the German crew of Clems and Junkers, with 29,5 to 30, 5 pints, the best of them was Robert Lusser. The best Englishman, Hubert Broad, was on the 15th place, while Winifred Spooner was on the 25th place. The German BFWM.23 Bs occupied poor positions, the best result of the BFW was 25 pints, while Fritz Morzik flying BFW gained only 19. 5 PKT, what gave him the 30th place? John Carberry, flying the German RK-25, occupied the last 47th place with mere 12 pints. The point differences were not high, but they were not easy to level during the next part of the contest. The Amamro. 5 at the 1929 International Challenge 8 crews dropped out during technical trials, mostly due to engine malfunctions during the last trial. After having dropped out in a fuel consumption trial, the German Arado L.1 was crashed by its designer H. Hoffman, while trying to show some aerobatics over the airfield. The second part of the contest was a 5,942 km rally over Europe, on a path, Paris, Basel, Genova, Lyon, Marseille, St. Raphael, Turin, Milan, Venice, Zagreb. Belgrade, Bucharest, Ternu Severin, Budapest, Vienna, Brno Prague, Wrocław, Warsaw, Poznan, Berlin, Hamburg, Amsterdam, Brussels, Paris. Main waypoints were, Belgrade, Warsaw, and Paris. It was not a mere rally, but rather a trial of aircraft capability on such a long path. Important factors were, keeping a good cruise speed, a regularity of flight and lack of major repairs. Maximum number of points to obtain in a rally was 119. The rally started on at 9 a.m. on August 7, from Orly Airfield in Paris. Two crews dropped out during the start, including the Czech Joseph Novak, flying an Aero A.34 whose engine failed and the plane turned over upon crashing. Though maximum speed was not important, most crews tried to make their best, and a group of the nine fastest crews reached Belgrade just at noon on August 8. Among them were, Hubert Broad, Winifred Spooner, Franiszek Kleps, Johannes Nering, Raymond Del Mote and John Carberry. This group was in the lead at the next airfields, too. Other groups were five German crews, with Fritz Morzik, and two groups of Italians, most other crews flew separately. Some crews dropped out on the way, mostly due to faults and unplanned landings. On August 9, starting from 9 a.m., most crews took off from Belgrade, though some crews had not reached this point yet. On August 11, the leading group took off from Brno and reached Warsaw. Flying to Poznan, Johannes Nering was forced to land and damaged his Domstadt D-18, one of the contest's fastest machines. Some other crews dropped out as well. Since competitors were not allowed to land in Paris before August 14 at 3 p.m., the leading group took off from Brussels and flew over Orly airfield minutes before 3 p.m. A few minutes later, just as the jury started work, 19 aircraft landed in Paris. The first to touch the ground was the Italian Battista Batalla flying a Fiat as dot one. On that day, four more crews arrived. On August 15, three crews finished, and on the next day the remaining ones. Only 31 crews out of 47 finished the rally. Only two crews reached the maximum 119 pints for the rally, the German Fritz Morzik and the Canadian John Carberry. The next score was 109 pints for Hubert Broad. Good results, 99 to 104 pints were obtained by five Italian crews, flying in a group. Winners of the technical trials gained less points for the race, taking further positions. After a rally, on August 16 there was a closing ceremony. After counting of points, the first place was given to the German, Fritz Morzik. The second place was taken by Hubert Broad. The first prize in the challenge was 100,000 French franc, the second, 50,000 French francs, the third, 25,000 French francs, 16 other crews would get 7,350 French francs. The contest was a German success, including John Carberry, but only 12 out of 24 German crews finished the contest. Very good result was obtained by the Italian team, 9 out of 12 crews finished, and on good places. Due to German victory, the next challenge 1930 was organized in Germany. The new regulations of 1930 put more accent to technical part, demanding more advanced aircraft. Thanks for watching.